Major changes to children's services in Birmingham have been announced this afternoon, with the city losing a number of dedicated centres. In the last hour, the council announced that a total of 21 children's centres will be deregistered. Instead, 22 hubs will be created, along with 107 community-based services in other buildings like schools and churches. Charlotte Cross explains. <laughs> For months, the future of Birmingham's children's centres has been in question. And today, the council announced the results of a public consultation. I'm not going to lie, there's difficulties around the city. The number of centres across the city will fall from 29 to 18. I never came into politics to make cuts, at least of all to children's centres. They've made such a difference to hundreds of thousands of families' lives around the country uh, and here in Birmingham. But given the financial restraints that the Tory government has put on us, I think we have done the best that we can with the money we've got. Sadly, that means closures in some areas, but we've prioritised the areas that need it most to keep services going in. The plans first announced earlier this year caused concern. At Lakeside Children's Centre in Erdington, over a thousand people signed a petition to keep it open. That was hand delivered to Downing Street. Their campaign paid off and today we found out that Lakeside is one of the children's centres staying open. But other communities in other parts of Birmingham haven't been so lucky. The consultation looked at all of the city's dedicated children's centres. Under the plans, 21 will be shut down. Others will be turned into community hubs, while dozens of small outlets will also be based in places such as schools and churches. It's a great day for Lakeside because this children's centre gives kids the best possible start in life, is a lifeline for often struggling parents. Sadly, across the city, a number of children's centres are threatened with closure. That is fundamentally wrong. For parents here at Lakeside, it's a bittersweet victory. It, it, is, a, it is a shame. Um, obviously, this, this is the only... Uh, there's, there's some on the bay, so it is a shame for the other parents. It's sad because being like a first, I was a first time parent using this, and I know there's other parents that are using the facilities that have more kids, and it helps. So it is sad for them um, that they're losing their centres, but the relief for us here, as we're like got nothing else, um, it's sort of bittersweet. There will be a number of redundancies, though the council says it doesn't yet know how many. The plans will be discussed at the Cabinet meeting next week. Charlotte Cross, ITV News, Birmingham. Well, we have asked for a response from the Department for Communities and Local Government, and we're awaiting a reply. More than two-thirds of NHS